So do you like a Hello, so today's video is about a British design watch from Radcliffe. I've reviewed one before and you guys love that review. It's about the Tsunami. Stunning case back, beautiful dive watch, great specification, and I would say fantastic value for money. Does this Radcliffe signature fit into that? Well, definitely. If you're impatient and just want to get stuck in and go and buy one, just go and do it because for from Saturday, if you're watching this literally as the video has dropped, there's a 20 day period we can get this watch for significantly less. The value for money is even better. Great specification, uh, individual custom parts on this piece. I'll show you that in this review. What a great package. That's all going to come. But the first thing you're going to need to see is all the stats and specs. So we'll do that and then we can go down to the analysis of this watch and everything you will need to know. I'll see you then. So very little will change with the production version, which is going to be released really soon to this one. Only change is going to be the logo on the crown. That's it. Everything you see here is carrying on over into the production version. So I'm borrowing this watch for them. So thanks Radcliffe for sharing this watch with me. So I like to start my videos with the things I've noticed that I'm a bit concerned about. I've moved this out. When I say concerned, these are only going to be generally minor criticisms. On this watch, they are relatively few, which is a pleasant surprise, but a lot of these things are just opinions and down to personal taste as well. But I'm going to help you out with things that are tactile and maybe quality control related, which and maybe things that you should be finding out about from people like me. First thing I noticed is look at the alignment. This is a, pro a prototype, by the way. The good thing is with the production version, you shouldn't be having this issue, but there is a huge alignment issue with the 12 and the double button indices at the 12 o'clock. That's not great, but that's just prototype related. So, um, well, I hope so. <laughs> well, I've been assured it is. That's one criticism. The other thing was the bracelet pins are a little bit awkward to get out. I don't know why they just were, and it was a bit tricky to get them back in again. Again, this could be just a prototype related issue. And then moving on to another little issue is the lack of a micro adjust on the bracelet, but there will be a strap option apparently. So I'm judging it based on my opinion of the bracelet. Only having two micro adjusts is a bit of a pain in the butt because these links are relatively small but you're still going to be having some luck involved with it for to fit you so i've sized this up for me and it's still a bit loose on my seven inch wrist so if i took one more link out i think it'd be too tight and i've used just the one micro adjust hole to get it to fit me a bit better so it's it's okay these are the faux when i say faux pretend beads of rice links i'm not 100 percent a fan of them either because they are just pretend but they still look smart and the strong ar i'm not 100 percent a fan of that as you can see there it's very blue that for me is just a personal thing as well but if you guys don't mind strong colored ar i prefer clear to be honest i'd rather ar do its job and not make a big song and dance about it and you know what i can't find much else out to complain about with this piece i need to move on to the next bit which is me saying all the positives the likes are as follows. I'll fly through these. Start with this stunning dial. This is a uh, guilloche. Uh, that's French for effectively fine detailed engraving. Less another day. How exciting. I did a bit of research, uh, <laughs> which is always fun. But I do love that gorgeous geometric. It's Art Deco is the era in which geometric patterns were very popular. And guilloche is a very nice fine engraving technique for this beautiful texture. And the colour as well. This dial is the is the main showpiece of this watch. You've got this Tiffany blue slash turquoise dial, which really speaks volumes for something that just wants to stand out from the crowd. And that's going to move on to the date window, which I'll talk about in a minute. But then the other colour is available is salmon, which I think is just very on trend and very quirky as well. Fancy releasing a couple of watches and the only two colour options are turquoise and salmon. I like that. And moving on to something that's quite quirky and eccentric, for around two to three hundred pounds, how often do you get, first of all, custom date wheels? This NH36 has got custom coloured and uh, different orientation lettering, etc. on those wheels. So you've got the date window and the day window 
together at the six o'clock. How quirky is that? Very different. And I think it adds symmetry because you've got it at the six and then you've got the logo at the 12. It just seems to work. I'm very impressed. And talking of custom, check this rotor out. A rose gold custom rotor with the same guilloche. Forgive my French pronunciation, it's embarrassing. But anyway, um, I'm trying. Custom rotor with Radcliffe written on there on the NH36 movement. Gorgeous exhibition case back. Really, really nice. That's so beautiful to, uh, to do that extra bit of effort. The overall design, British design, remember that. I know this isn't manufactured in Britain, but otherwise the prices would be extraordinarily high. The, the heart and soul and the blood that's, and the creativity that's gone into this is British. You've got a sapphire bezel insert to give that continued glossy yet scratch resistant finish. Gorgeous dome crystal, single dome, so you get that extra distortion. Playing with that stunning dial, very legible loom and indices and hands. Everything's clear and still very functional. Lovely knurling on here on this crown. It's uh, not a screw down crown, by the way. It's just uh, you can do the hand winding, then it pops out for all the adjustments, etc. Solid end links and lovely, very slim profile, considering it is an NH36 in there. Normally a chunkier watch, chunkier movement, but everything works in proportion. And the lug to lug, even though it's got solid uh, male end links, they don't have a, a huge lug to lug. So it wears really well nicely, as I'll show you again on my wrist. Proportionally, fantastic. Seven inch wrist for your reference, average man size. 40 mil case size. It's a nice sweet spot for many people. I do lo I do like the loom. It's a gorgeous BGW9. They've used it on a previous Radcliffe, the Tsunami. And it's I do love the fact that they've used a the blue loom to go with this turquoise dial. It's just a marriage made in heaven. I think I've covered everything really, to be honest. All the I pause because my dog's barking at someone. <laughs> Shush. So overall, what a great specification for your money. Two to 300 pounds is a very competitive market, especially in the microband territory, but you're getting unique British design. It's got that, again, that dial. It just really, it's worth it for the dial alone. But then you still have all the other lovely things. You've got sapphire, all stainless steel, a decent movement and a custom rotor. It really is an interesting piece. And I think it's great fun as well. And if you're thinking of treating yourself for Christmas, why not utilize this incredible price he's doing it for? I'm so impressed. Just over 200 pounds for free shipping. What more could you ask for? So the Radcliffe, overall, my opinions are what a gorgeous piece. It's stunning. It's bonkers. Custom bits and bobs in it. And it's, it's fabulous for the money. I think it's great to have something so quirky and different for what is, I believe, an affordable price. You go in the high street and go, well, I've got two to 300 pound budget. What are you going to get for your money? You're going to get something that's probably a bit bland, well, definitely a lot blander than this. It's not going to have the specification, that's for sure. Well done, Radcliffe. Another cracking design watch. Beautiful and well executed. I look forward to what else is to come from you guys. And if you've enjoyed this video, check out one of my others because I've been a busy boy over the last year or so. And if you enjoyed this video, why don't you, during the festive period, binge watch some of my other content and uh, just help the channel out. If not, just like this video and hopefully see you in the next one. And thanks again. Bye for now.